What's up, YouTube? So, I'm going to um, do a quick video on how to change motorcycle oil. Uh, this particular video is actually geared towards the 2005 Triumph 955i, because that's what I personally have that I've been riding around. Um, but this uh, type of technique, this is not long here, this type of technique will actually work on uh, pretty much any motorcycle you have. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. The basic things you're going to need, you're going to need one of these guys, a combination wrench, 13 millimeter for the Triumph. You're going to need a Canyon filter. This is actually kind of a no-no for Triumph, but um, I'm going to actually use it anyway because it's all I could find and it will actually do an okay job. I'll just change it a little early, probably around 2,000, 2,100 miles. So it'll do the job. It's an oil filter. Um, you'll need a funnel and then you'll need uh, oil and an oil pan and depending on the bike, a crush washer. Now a few things uh, to note here. Depending on the type of bike you have, they call for different types of oil. This is Mobile, this is mobile One, um, it's their Racing 4T oil. And it's a really great oil, this is 10 weight 40. Triumph actually calls for 10 weight 40 or 15 weight 40. Because I'm in Southern California, I would rather run the 15 weight 40 because it means it's thicker, the higher number means it's thicker in warmer temperatures, which is good because you don't want to thin the oil out too much, especially at higher RPMs. Uh, you'll start burning it. But, um, uh, if you're using a V-Twin, Mobile One makes an awesome V-Twin uh, one as well, which works great. You can use that. Um, but in general, you, do not want to, you don't want to use a, um, a regular car engine oil. And the reason because our bikes use wet clutches, and that means that these actually have detergents in them, which keep the clutches clean, and also they might have friction modifiers, which actually allow the clutch to grab appropriately. So always use the type of oil your bike calls for. Look it up. Harley Davidson uses one thing. Uh, mobile uh, uh, sports bikes might use another thing. V twins will use another one. Inline fours, inline threes. This is an inline three, and it does just fine with the inline four T racing uh, oil that um, that mobile one makes. So, so you need that. Crush washer washers. There's a whole lot of different kinds here. Let me open this up. Um, there's a lot of different ones here. There's nylon. This is a nylon washer. And then this is a combination rubber grommet around an actual steel washer, uh, or it might be aluminum. But anyway, it's it's a it's actually a rubber plastic grommet. Uh, and this is a copper one, which is uh, uh, these ones actually compress quite a lot when you um, when you seat them. This is just an aluminum washer, aluminum crush washer, and this is just a plastic, probably plastic nylon type one again too. So for the Triumph, you're gonna see. Right here is going to be the drain, and then right next to it, which is really nice, is going to be your um, oil filter. So super nice, really great location, super easy to get to. There we go. Actually, we'll be able to see what kind of washer was being used on here. This one is just using a crush washer, just an aluminum crush washer. I can probably even reuse this and it'll be okay. Uh, technically, it says just to change them every single time. People get away, you reuse them all the time. Um, you just gotta be careful and see if it's leaking or not. It just sucks to, it is, because you have to redo the oil change. And one of the reasons why bikes are more expensive to own than cars, not in terms of gasoline, but in terms of maintenance, um, well, depending, is because oil is very expensive. Uh, um, a filter for a car is four bucks. A filter for this thing um, is between 14 and 25. So if you know how to get them online, you can get, you can save money on them. But um, they can be very expensive. So here's the crush washer. I'm gonna go ahead and just reuse this, just how it is, because um, actually, let's see here. Actually, I'm not going to, and here's the reason why. If you look here, it might be hard to see in the camera, but there's actually a ring around the outside where this washer was crushed. And um, if it does not seat exactly back in there like that, it will, it will actually leak. So I'm actually going to use a new aluminum washer. Perfect, here we go. So I'm just going to use this one. If I had to reuse that old washer, 
I would sand it down with sandpaper until it's perfectly smooth. Just go back and forth. Just go back and forth on the sandpaper until it's perfectly smooth on both sides. And then I could reuse it, but I'm not going to do that this time, so. Ugh, whoever put this on put it on too tight. Ugh. There's a few different ways to do this. So this is a great example of why it's really important to put on your filter the right way. Tighten it, put, it, put oil around it first, tighten it until it's hand tight, pretty snug, until it kind of feels like you can't really go anymore, and then back out a quarter of a turn. Because this filter is stuck on here, and I'm going to have to use a screwdriver method, and I'll show you how this works. Basically, I see my filter right here. I want to put a hole through both sides of it and then torque it off with this. You want to use a sharp screwdriver for this. You don't want to put unnecessary strain on the uh, on the oil filter housing. So I was able to get it with just one hole, which is fine. Even more, it still has to go more. Man, here I put this on. Really put on tight. Yeah, let's see if I can catch the edge here and get it to... These are my wife's old pants. Don't tell her I took them. So here's a new filter. Same size. Same size ring, but this one has an actual wrench on the bottom of it, and that's designed for situations like this to get them on and off easier. So that's going to make things much, much better. So if a filter's stuck, if a filter's stuck in a bad location and you really cannot get it out, and you've tried, this is the most versatile thing I have for pulling it. Um, I guess if you had giant channel locks, that could work too, um, but you'll end up denting your filter, which is fine. They also make caps that go on the end. That can work great, but it just I just haven't had one. Well, I had don't have one of those tools for my collection yet. But what you do, you push it all the way through, and you actually jam it through both sides, or you can just jam it like this, get a good hold, and then just twist it off. And then pull it out, put it in, twist it again. Or if it's really, really stuck and you're deforming the whole wall put it through all the way through and then that way you can get a good hold on it and twist it. But be careful that you don't, you're not catching your threads up here uh, uh, for where it mounts or else, because you might be damaging the, uh, you don't want to damage your, um, where it screws on. Put in, run some around the edge, just like that. Make sure you wet your filter, good. Then come in here. I'm going to clean this area up right here because I just want to make sure that everything's good and clean. Filter on. Now Triumph, interestingly, doesn't have one of these uh, fancy um, things where you can look through to see where your oil level is. You can not actually technically mod the case for it. And I've seen people do it, but it's uh, kind of a pain in the butt. So. I just turn the bike up, uh, upright and keep checking it. Let's actually check right there. Nothing yet. It's almost perfect right now. That's great. Now I didn't prime the filter, but that's something that you may want to do depending on the bike. Um, this guy should be okay uh, pretty quick, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about priming it. 
but uh, you can just fill it up before you put it in. That's something that normally on a car I would actually do, and I would have done on this too if I would have remembered, so, because it will eat up a little more oil, so. But that's pretty much it in terms of changing oil. Any bike, same procedure. Um, just make sure with your crush washer you have tightened down good. Use the right oil. If you need to get your, uh, your oil filter off, use a screwdriver if you have to. And uh, be careful and ride safe, guys. All right, that's it.